Hello folks, today let me talk about uh, rifle ballistics. I'd like to show you at first this difference. Please look at the primer condition. This one, the primer edge is spread out flat pretty different this is something like new only the dent of the firing pin this one is uh, from this armor this one is from this armor hunting armor and uh, practice armor 150 grain 110 grain bullet and uh, this powder is IMR 4227 very fast and very low amount just half 24 grains this ammo powder is IMR 3031 nearly full load 42 grains the both are on a faster side as a rifle ammo rifle powder This practice ammo burns like this. Very fast. 4227 is very fast powder. Like this. It does not need my 22 inch barrel. Maybe uh, 15 inch barrel is enough to accelerate this bullet for practice. This hunting ammo uses uh, IMR 3031 on the faster side, but uh, its burning peak comes about uh, two and a half inches from the chamber. Like this. And uh, burns out using almost the full length of my barrel, 22 inches. The pressure is very high. About uh, 60,000 unit. I don't know about this unit, but uh, 60,000 is correct. Uh, i let you know uh, the chart on the website, on the comment corner, uh, on the uh, description corner, under the video, you can take it. And uh, this is pressure chart. Pressure is power. Uh, power is uh, speed acceleration. And therefore, this area means the muzzle speed integration by time. This uh, barrel length is uh, replaced for time length barrel length is time this area is very small therefore this difference 
was made out between the two bullets. Okay. And uh, I made two uh, ammo, two kinds of ammo for my high speed rifle 270. Look at this device. This flattening is weak. This side stronger. This is from uh, my weak part. This is my strong part. Different. The powder is different. The weak barret I made from made with IMR four two two seven. Ah, sorry, four o six four. Middle burning powder. Forty two grains. Ah, forty, sorry, forty six grains, forty six grains of IMR four o six four. Therefore, this area is wider, or as wide as this bullet. The final muzzle speed are nearly the same, mm, two sixty, two eighty. This highest speed ammo is made out of uh, IMR. Mm, four seven, ah, four three five zero. The frame, the most famous powder from IMR for rifles, I think. The area is the largest, which means the speed is the highest. Therefore, the primer was flattened very severe, as severe as this one, yes. This is severe, higher pressure, fast burning powder made it, slow burning powder made it. Oh, sorry, this one. Oh, I'm sorry, nearly the same. Anyway, this acceleration is very long period of time and high. Therefore, this muzzle speed is something like 3200 feet per second. This is uh, um, 2060. Uh, this is uh, 2,800. This is 2,000. This difference. The area means the speed. This is the physics of inter-barrel uh, bullet mechanism. First burning powder is uh, very dangerous if the amount is up. Therefore, I reduced uh, the amount of this fast burning powder, 4064. If I increase this amount, the pressure, oh, this, this one, I'm sorry, the pressure will increase kind of drastically to the, a dangerous level. If I increase this very fast burning powder more drastically, if I increase this 
very fast burning powder, 427, very, very drastically, critically. It is the most dangerous powder to increase, but more the safest powder to decrease. Because this uh, pressure um, pattern is deviated very much on the muzzle, uh, chamber side. Therefore, starting the bullet is done easily with this first burning powder. Therefore, I can decrease this line. I can decrease maybe this line. But it can move, start from the chamber to the barret, uh, to the barrel, and goes. Just decrease the muzzle, spe uh, muzzle speed, but safe. Decreasing is safe on the 4227. And uh, increasing is safe on the uh, IMR. 4350 slow burning powder because this curve all the way increase like this not this acute therefore this bullet can be accelerated a bit more but uh, hmm. To see this condition, hmm. I think this is severe. This IMR three o three one makes higher pressure. Oh, I'm sorry, this one. Therefore, I can accelerate this bullet a little bit more. Uh, viewed from uh, this primer uh, condition. Anyway, this is the inner parallel physics. Let's talk about outer parallel physics, ballistics. It is easy. Long range tables shows it. The important issue is uh, ballistic coefficient, which is determined by bullet shape, uh, which means uh, air resistance. Bullet shape and uh, bullet uh, uh, grains, which means uh, uh, you know vertical uh, gravity uh, by earth two factors determine this ballistic coefficient and muzzle velocity you can see muzzle velocity and ballistic coefficient determines the ballistic line drops breath drops uh, due to the distance easy calculation the problem is uh, the firing angle in Japan we need to hunt in mountains let me talk about it a little bit when we fire the bullet horizontally the gravity works just for uh, the drop not for the speed the speed is determined by air resistance and we shoot upward uh, this shimmer is exaggerated 45 degrees 45 degrees, I'm sorry. And this uh, gravity can be uh, divided into two directions on physics. This perpendicular 
uh, direction divided power is weaker than this one, weaker than this one. Therefore, theoretical drop is weak. 0.7 mathematically. This is one. This direction like this. Hmm. Yes. Zero point seven. Zero point seven. And one. Therefore, this directional divided power increases the muzzle speed, uh, the bullet speed. This uh, divided gravity decreases the bullet speed, but uh, this curving, dropping power is the same, theoretically. But uh, this muzzle speed is slower than this muzzle speed. We fire just uh, on just to the earth vertically. Acceleration is done upward to the sky. Decreasing is done. Therefore, no dropping deviation. Diagonal shot theoretically drop is same. Drop is the largest uh, drop is the largest when I shoot horizontally. Theoretically slowest. Uh, not so large as this one. Not so large as this one. This is the largest, but uh, speed is different. Accelerated. Therefore, as you saw from this chart, speed uh, is a very important factor. Slower speed increase this drops as if it was fired horizontally. This accelerated speed decrease this drop. Therefore, when we use, we shot the bullet upward, dropping should be nearly the same in my opinion, nearly the same, but uh, to the sky, just upward, zero, and a bit uh, angle shot will make a drastically large uh, deviation, like this, almost the same. But uh, shooting down will drastically decrease the drop. This is my theory. Okay. That is the reason why I made for bullets. Mm. Long range, super long range, long range, mid range, and practice. Okay. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye-bye.